Yo, 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 it's Friday, January 11th, 2013, we about to get on the stream, um, you know, I don't know, I'm not really a good rapper, because I didn't give in to the gangster culture, you know what I mean, I didn't give in to the being trendy and being, uh, hip and all that stuff, I cared more about things that mattered, <laughs> I cared more about reality than Matrix living yuppies that are so peer pressure driven that they don't even form their own opinions anymore. They drink so much fluoride that their brain waves don't even form enough brain activity for them to even make their own opinions. And here we are today fighting the zombie uh, legion. All these zombie movies and The Walking Dead on AMC and all these, all these zombie things coming out is a metaphor, my friend. Us that are awake, that are real and alive and love everything in life and that feel the, the just the Holy Spirit and the grace that flows through everything that know God's watching us. We are the people with the guns and the people that are stupid, gangster, brainwashed morons out there are the zombies. So it's a metaphor. Your guns are your spiritual awareness to use to get these zombies to get back to being human again. Wake everyone up. Everyone's in a coma. Everyone is under a witchcraft spell of being brainwashed. You gotta wake them up. Today's article is from WND Exclusive. It's an exclusive from WND, excuse me. Riot involves dozens at Pennsylvania school. 70 blacks included students and parents. Here we go on some more race related stuff. I'm racist because I report on black people going around beating people. And you are going to be called racist for that too because, I mean, that's the. If you're not down with the brothers, if you're not down with murder and gangsterism, then you're, then you're just in their way. Editors note Colin Flaherty has done more reporting than any other journalist on what appears to be a nationwide trend of skyrocketing black on white crime, violence, and abuse. WND features these reports to counterbalance the virtual blackout by the rest of the media due to their concerns that reporting such incidents would be inflammatory or even racist. WND considers it racist not to report racial abuse solely because of the skin color of the perpetrators or victims. Editors note the links in the following report may contain offensive language. For you morons out there that can't take the truth, this is going to come off racist and hateful. But what it really is is informative and truth. It is the truth. The color of your skin should not overweigh what the truth is, my friend. It's just ridiculous. And I use that word a lot because that's the, type of, <laughs> that's the type of world we're living in. It is ridiculous. Everything's turned on its head. And I say we start using our power and our truth to turn everything back to, you know, be what it was before. I have hope in that. I have, the more you look into politics, the more you look into your own spiritual existence, you start to really see the hope in everything, man. Because a year ago when I started looking into politics, I was like, man, we're going to get nuked. Everything's coming to an end. Goodbye world. But no, when you start to look at everything for what it is and knowing how powerful you really are, you start to really know that there is hope because th there's only more people waking up every day. There are more people waking up every day. And the more people wake up, the better chances we have. But it doesn't matter how many people wake up because they're still going to have Piers Morgan on CNN pretending like at, he's acting like a dictator and, and pretending like he's in, fa in fairy tale land that he actually believes people are listening to him. Uh, it's ridiculous. Racial violence around the country is spreading into schools and growing intensely. And growing in intensity. And thanks to YouTube, school district superintendents and the media are having a harder time denying it. The latest episode took place this week in Woodland Hills High School in Swissvale, a suburb of Pittsburgh. For two days, 70 black students and some parents were punching, kicking, and terrorizing themselves and neighbors. A riot, said Swissvale Police Chief Greg Gre uh, Geppert. <clears throat> All on video, a video too graphic for WTAE News to show it in its entirety. Okay, there is a lot of videos out there that are, they put them out there so that you can see that it's actually real. There are videos of kids in Syria getting Colombian neckties. Just because it's not happening in front of you here in California doesn't mean that it's actually happening in real life, okay? Like the mainstream media not reporting on all this on all this violence, and so that it gives them power, man. You don't want to you don't want to make that an issue when the president is trying to take your guns. I mean, it's, uh. Anyways, at least three of the people we see in this video are all pending juvenile cases coming up that were taken to juvenile detention center and they're right back out. 
Gepper told WTAE. Uh, we can't keep them in there. We arrest them, they put them right back on the street. Several students were arrested and more are expected. Police would not say how many, but the number is expected to be more than two dozen. Do you see the, the peer pressure driven children that give into the rap music? I mean, Snoop Dogg wasn't kidding when he said, I have your kids, man. He really does. I don't care how good a parent you are. If you put your kids in a public school, say goodbye to them. Say goodbye. They're going to grow up uh, somebody that you don't even know, man. Because they're getting domesticated by the, by the, they're getting indoctrinated by the moron hard left in the schools, man. You're not allowed to believe in God when you go to school. You're not allowed to do this and that. You're going to be peer pressured into being a gangster, into being a slave. It's ridiculous. These attacks are part of a pattern of hundreds of examples of black mob violence documented in more than 80 cities revealed in the book White Girl Bleed a Lot, The Return of Racial Violence and How the Media Ignore It. I always, always bring this up. In Brazil, there are every single colored people in Brazil. And do they fight each other? I don't think so, dude. They love each other. They, like, really do love each other. They have, like, a sense of brotherhood over there to the point where most Americans feel like they're kind of coming off gay. Because, like, you know, when you see, like, two jujitsu guys in the cage and they're Brazilian and one of them s and submits the other, and he'll hug them and they'll roll around and it's all brotherhood, love. It's because they just went through hell with each other. They have a sense of camaraderie and respect for each other. But over here, everything's gay, everything's racist, everything's... Uh, hateful and everything's a culture of cruelty no wonder no one's getting ahead because we're all dragging ourselves down into the same pit that we're all sitting in these attacks are part of a pattern of hundreds I read that neighbors say racial violence at the school is a long-standing problem according to the CBS affiliate in Pittsburgh those who witnessed the fights in the neighborhood along South Braddock Avenue in Swissvale say they are afraid to walk into the store they're, they're afraid to walk just to the store. I'm afraid for my life. I won't go for a walk anymore. It is very disturbing. I watched a man being kicked in the head, says a woman who didn't want to be identified. Superintendent Alan Johnson reminded the media of some basic arithmetic of the 1,300 students at the school. Most were not rioting. Then again, this is hardly the first occasion of recent racial violence in the Pittsburgh area or in that school district. In October, American witnessed... American witnessed uh, six black Pittsburgh students attack a school teacher, knocking him out and sending him to the hospital. The video went viral. See, the, the gangster, cruel culture would laugh at that. That's on YouTube getting a million videos. Students knocking out their teacher. I mean, that's what the, that's what the moron culture worships. They worship ignorance and stupidity, man. I mean, that would go viral on YouTube if it was on YouTube. A, a little... A bunch of little kids knocking out their, their teacher for no good reason. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was a bad kid in high school. I was beyond bad. And it was because, it wasn't because I was indoctrinated. It was just because I was into rock music and being a rebel. I knew something was wrong with the system, so I never acclimated to it. So what I ended up doing is I ended up being like this hardcore rocker that skateboarded and did not listen to anything anyone had to say and I was a free spirit. And if you were trying to chain me down, I'd let you know real fast who you were dealing with. So um, let me let me keep on going here. In October, American Witness, in, in November, three members of University of Pittsburgh football team were charged with assault for their role in a mob attack. In October, several black men beat and killed a football player from Washington and Jefferson College in Pittsburgh. In March 2010, 11 black students were arrested after another riot at the Woodland Hills Junior High. Two police officers were injured. Several students were blamed the riots on police and security guards. They blamed the riots on police and security guards. You see, that's part of the gangster culture is hate the white man. Hate the cops. The guys that actually protect you. Hate them. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, you freaking morons. Let's see. Um, and let's see. Pittsburgh is hardly alone for repeated and serious episodes of racial violence in schools. In Milwaukee, 30 black students were arrested after widespread violence broke out at Bayview High School in October 2012. One of the students arrested, Elise Triplett, told WISN TV in Milwaukee that she was an innocent bystander who was attacked by the security guard for no reason whatsoever. The arrests were the latest in a series of high-profile episodes of racial violence in Milwaukee over the last three years, said one poster to a Milwaukee website. The problem is not something new and is not isolated to Bayview. Yesterday has just happened to be. It just happened to be yesterday, though. Last month, Pulaski, 
State Affair, 4th of July. In January 2012, dozens of black students at Chattanooga Central High. I have a friend in Chattanooga. His name's Brandon. What up, B-Boogie? Chattanooga, uh, Tennessee, man. I hear there are a lot of cool and very smart people down there, man. Uh, God bless you guys. Fought during school and, uh, let's see, in January 2012, dozens of black students at Chattanooga Central High fought during school and seven were arrested. It was like a riot, Central High sophomore Karen Williams told the Times Free Press. Outside of school, WND.com reported in October on more than a dozen episodes of large-scale racial violence at high school football games over the last year. These incidents were in places including Detroit, Chicago, Georgia, New Staten Island, Long Island, North Carolina, Jacksonville, and Broward County. And there is, if you want to go here, I really recommend you go to WND.com and look at this article. It's called Riot Involves Dozens at Pennsylvania School. There is a link, as you can see right here, that you can go and you can see a list, a huge list of black mob violence. Because nobody's exaggerating this. This is actually going on. Like, like the media tries to exaggerate Alex Jones saying that if you try to take our guns, that revolution is going to happen. That's not a joke. That's an, ex that's an absolute fact. If you come and try to take our guns, there's going to be a civil war and a revolution. So there is no, that's not, that's not uh, something that Jon Stewart should be joking about. No one's going to take your guns. Look, Jon Stewart, you're not that funny, okay? You're a moron. Um, let's see. Um... You know, I try, I try to do my part when I go out. I have, uh, I have all kinds of friends. I'm blessed to have all kinds of friends. And sometimes we'll have deep conversations. And sometimes I'll say that the whole racial thing is used to play each other off. And I was actually talking to one of my African-American and one of my Hispanic friends when I was talking about this once. And my African-American friend said, he said, you better watch what you say, man. You're causing a lot of tension right now. It's like, why? Why am I causing a lot of tension because I'm telling you that you're brainwashed? I mean, you're brainwashed to believe that everyone's played off against you. Like, everyone's against you. It's just a joke, dude. Like, and then you're gonna get mad at me because I'm... You're the one saying you're racist. You're the one absolutely confessing that you're racist and everything that you believe in is revolves around racism. I mean, it's like, I'm just trying to tell you that you're brainwashed and then you tell me, Oh, I'm causing the tension. Ah, uh, uh, I see. Uh, how dare you fear monger, my friend? How dare you tell? How dare you warn me of of the of the dangers that I'm I'm putting myself into? And it's a joke. All of it's a joke.